What is going on YouTube? My name is Nicolo Regano and today I'll be showing you a tutorial of how to do a bald fade with a hard part and a beard. So I'm going to apologize in advance for the video. Um, this is kind of a learning ex experience for me because I'm so new to making you, uh, YouTube videos still. So, um, you know, I was trying to get the right angle in the lighting uh, for my cuts and I think I'm going to put it in front of the fridge. Uh, so it would probably be better lighting for everybody and a better angle to see at all times and I apologize if you see my back sometimes I try to stay out of the way as much as I can but uh, again still learning <laughs> but let's get right into it so I'm gonna bald him out right here as you can see and uh, he usually gets like a low bald fade so you know you don't want to bring it up too high and make sure you're using them clippers make sure the the edge of it is on the skin you know you don't want to be pointing or jabbing into the client's skin So you're going to open the blade up here with no guard and uh, start giving, uh, I'd say about a half inch up. Give yourself enough room, man. I mean, you don't, you want to, you want to give yourself enough room to have that blend really have like a nice transition to it. You know, if you, if you bring it too close together, it's going to be clumped. It's going to look like it's all just a, a messy fade, I guess. And um, so right here, I'm going to close the blade. I'm gonna take off that first guideline, and you'll kind of see like I'll I'll open the blade as I go. I kind of detail as I go. You know, you, you could have a couple different ways to do it. You could detail at the end, but you know, I kind of if I see something, I'll clean it up right there. But I always go back in the end anyways and double check my work. So I'm going to use the shaver right here. I'm using the walls. Um, I heard the Andy is pretty good too. They're probably both pretty similar. Um, but yeah, I like to use it. It gets close, really close to the skin, um, especially doing bald fades. You know, it's the, I think it's one of the best. I mean, some people prefer the razor. And I know in school they always tell us the razor because, you know, they don't, they don't like that. It's not a traditional barber tool. But, you know, so you see right here, I'm just detailing as I go, like I said. And everyone has a different system. That, that that's what's so beautiful about the art of barbering is that you could, you know, you could have the same result, but you know, a million different ways to get there. And so, you know, it's a tr it's truly an art. So I had the one guard close, went up about a half inch or so. And now you're gonna bring it straight with the half guard. Uh, you're gonna have it all the way open with the blade, and you just want to go over that again. It's kind of like take away that first layer take down that bulk there uh, and then you want to slowly just either close it and you can fade down or you can close it all the way take out the first guideline and go up from there but I think you really just want to do both ways to really cross check and that's very important that if you want a really blurry clean fade that that's the best way to do it is to cross check fade up and down One thing you'll constantly see me doing is, you know, just just constantly dust the client off. You know, that's very important because, you know, that, that's very uncomfortable to have an itchy neck. You know, that's the worst thing about getting your hair cut. So, you know, people really appreciate it. I'm eventually getting an air compressor and probably blow the hair off instead. I think that'd be pretty cool. So I'm taking the uh, the first bulk down uh, the top just with a two guard closed. Um, cause he wants that hard part. So I'm kind of just making that guideline up there to follow. And then I'm going to, I'm following it up with a one and a half guard open. And then I'm going to slowly close it here. Uh, if you can see it, I'll, you know, I'll open and close it as I need it. And then I actually have the one guard open and I'm going over with that, that same area. 
you know, and I'm closing that at the very beginning of that to to blend out that that first line. So I went the hair, I'm combing it down, and um, he didn't want really want too much, so maybe I'll take like almost like a half inch off. Generally, that's you know if you're getting a trim or you know if it's been like two weeks since the cut, they, people really just want like a half inch off. But uh, he likes to flow his hair to the left, so you'll see me kind of bring it that way and cut it um, in that direction, so it looks that the same way when he styles it that way. Hope everyone has is having a great day out there. Um, I really want this this video to reach people that you know are almost thinking about getting into barbering. Maybe they have no idea what it's all about and everything. And I hope that they watch these videos and you know and grow an interest for it. You know and, and research, watch other people's YouTube videos. You know, get into it. I, that's awesome. Like to inspire people. And I mean, that's that's how I was inspired by uh, on YouTube. Just you know, Chris Bossio's videos or. Any, you know most people so you know i hope to do that with mine and educate of course and i'm learning too like i said uh and right here i'm uh taking i'm, I'm blending the the ridge of the head with thinning shears you know some shears over comb you could do you could of course do clippers over comb whatever you prefer whatever you prefer here I'm using a, a thinning razor it gives the hair a lot of texture and uh, I think it makes a, the hair lay, lay a lot nicer especially if you're trying to flow it a certain way and uh, right here I don't know if you can see I apologize again for my back being in the camera but um, I think I, I'm taking the two probably the two open and I, I'm just you know taking down that extra bulk that was there that's like right next to the part you want to go you want to go against the grain go with the grain and then go against the grain and then from there you could just blend it out So I'm going to blow dry his hair the opposite way. That way it separates the hair so I could make a nice clean part um, right there. And I'll put some product in even to, to hold it in place. It's a really good way to um, create a clean part. So I'm going to start lining them up here. You don't want to ever push back someone's hairline. That's like the number one rule <laughs> for lineups. Um, you know, just keep it natural. Brush the hair down and just keep it as natural as you can to, to their actor, natural hairline. But you want to start in the middle and just go out. So I'm doing the part here and I always like to flip the trimmers a couple times. So I'll either go you know, one way and then I'll flip around and do it another way to make that line as straight as I can. And he kind of has a, a thinner hairline, so I'll line it up and I'll show you later I'll put some dye on it to make it dark.
so you'll see the uh the video i, I sped up a little bit um just for your sake <laughs> i was just kind of detailing and lining up the beard not too much to look at um just because i was away from the camera like i said the next video i'm going to try to get the best angle i possibly can and the best lighting so you could be able to actually watch what i'm doing at least for the beard work and all of that and uh one thing i do for the beard um i have this uh it's like a beard lineup tool and it's like a crescent shape and it helps a lot you know with lining up beard especially if you're starting out uh, i definitely recommend it and uh coming up here i'm gonna use a, a hot towel on him and i i use a hot towel on all my my clients and i i, I truly believe that it is the the foundation of barbering i mean i mean it's just one of those original like classic techniques you could use before a shave and I, I think they really appreciate it i mean that really gets people coming back So I'm using some uh, Tomb 45 shave gel. Uh, shout out to Tomb 45 Movement and Chris Bossy. I'm always shouting them out. So I'm definitely going to put them in the link in, of the description, uh, their website, and probably some of his videos too. I'll, I'll include that. But uh, it's a great shave gel. You can use any cream or, or shave gel you prefer. But as long as you're using something, I, I don't know how some people get away with those dry shades. I mean, that has to be uncomfortable for the client. <laughs> but those of you new to straight razor, you know, start out on a, on a balloon. That's how I started. You know, just detail, uh, or I'm sorry, just draw something on the balloon. Maybe like mimic like a face, but just try to get the strokes right. And if you don't pop the balloon, you should be good enough to try on yourself. And then eventually you'll be good enough to try on a, a real person. But it's always very important. Stretch the skin and just have st smooth strokes through your wrist. And this, this is the point of the haircut where you should really just always go back in detail, you know. Check your work in the mirror, see it in different angles and different lighting, and see if something needs cleaned up, man. I mean, that's that's the biggest thing about barbering is going back in detail. That's what makes the cut. You could go through all these steps, but, I mean, if you have a couple lines, I mean, that kills the whole image of, of the cut and, and your work, really. So, I mean, it's very important. Always go back and detail your work. And so right here is what I was talking about, that semi-permanent dye. Um, yeah, so he he just gets a little dab of it in his hairline. Nothing too crazy. And I let it sit for about 20 minutes. And it, and it, it helps. I, I think it really does help. It, it, it uh, pops his hairline uh, a lot more than it was, you know, because it was a little thinner. So I like using uh, enhancements or, or any type of dye to help out. And so that's the finished product, guys. Um, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I really hope that everyone can learn from this. And I'm learning too. So I really enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Uh, that was a picture I put on Instagram and everything. So thank you again for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. Please give me some feedback, guys. Enjoy your day. Thank you.